This is TV Ontario's La Chaîne Française. Greetings, prisoners of gravity. This is Commander Rick on board Reality One, 22,000 miles north of your toque. Today's episode is brought to you by the letter M. Maintenant, Nancy. Rising anti Semitism in Eastern Europe. Here's a vote that the English only signed 40,000 tons of oil with PCBs blew up the ozone layer today. is for mail call. People have been faxing me up their thoughts and my friend Control zapped me up some video mail. So these pirate broadcasts are getting through to people who care. For my creditors, let's see. Dear Commander Rick, how about a show dealing with self-publishing your own comic book or fanzine? I'm working on it. Um, the use of many short interview bites creates more confusion than cohesion. I must have seen Frank Miller in the last three or four shows, and I still don't feel like I know the guy any better. Well, hey, I'm not doing the Friars Club celebrity roast here. City TV's movie and fashion TV magazine shows would serve as better format models? What? Orbit TV? Do I look like Erica M? I'm not doing Overstreet's the movie. You want celebrity profiles? Read Comet's interview magazine. I'm here to talk about the big issues, which is what science fiction and comics are doing, and they still don't get no respect. Now, in mainstream literature, Danielle Steele outsells Margaret Atwood, but Margaret Atwood gets respect. People have at least heard of her. Ask the man on the street about comics, and all they know are the mutated ninja reptiles. Who's ever heard of Mobius? And yeah, people have heard of Steven Spielberg, but who knows about Judith Merrill? Yeah, fans know, but that's 0.001% of the world. Mobius and Merrill have helped raise comic books and fantasy and science fiction to the level of art, and no one knows about it. Well, that's where I come in. So forget about M for male. Today, the letter M stands for Mobius and Merrill and me. Now, in Europe, Jean Giraud, a.k.a. Mobius, is a respected artist and storyteller. His work hangs in galleries, his art commands top dollar, and he sold millions of comics. In America, people think Mobius is an oil company. He brings a level of craft that is utterly astonishing to the work. And on top of that, his work at its best is the work of an absolutely free spirit. It's, it's unrestrained by social convention. It's unrestrained by, by censorship or by whoever else is in the room or by fads, common wisdom. It's the work of a, of a pure visionary talent. Jean grew up in France reading 1010 and Flash Gordon comics. Both influenced his work. In the 1950s, he began drawing Western comics. In the 1970s, he started exploring science fiction comics. And along the way, he's drawn posters, paintings, and book covers. Mobius, it's Commander Rick. You've been called a visionary and a genius. Why did you choose to work in comics? Uh, I think I had no choice. I had no choice. Uh, it was that or nothing, or something. When I see the alternative, it's dark and confused. Anything can, could happen. The only thing very clear for me, the only path very sure was uh, to draw. And uh, inside the drawing field, it was comics. Did you draw as a child? Yeah, I had problems. I thought I was not beloved uh, the way I, I deserved, you know. I had the feeling to be rejected a little bit. And the adults around me <clears throat> had not the, the, the attention to me I wanted to, to have. You know, I think all the, the, the small children has the same feeling. 
And uh, once I did a drawing, and uh, everybody was very happy. And uh, ah, look at that! It's beautiful. This child, child is a genius. And uh, I had my way because I, I had the power to take the attention of the others. It could have been singing, so I could be a singer or anything else. But it was drawing. So after 30 years, your reasons must have changed. What keeps you at it now? To be a professional who, who wake in the morning with a, a nice program in the day. Nothing boring, nothing uh, painful, and nothing uh, against myself or against any, anybody. So the pleasure, and it's a pleasure to tell a story, to, to build a story. I, I, fo I follow that pleasure. I've always liked. Mobius's work, uh, perhaps one, one reason, because he, he has so many different styles. Um, he was equally at home with drawing a traditional comic strip, like uh, Lieutenant Blueberry is the Western that he does. And he does it in a straight traditional style, uh, very clear storytelling. Um, you always know what's going on. And he also has a science fiction side, which isn't necessarily devoted to clarity. Sometimes you haven't a clue as to what's going on. And I like the range uh, that he gets in his work, as, as well as a technical facility that is, is uh, truly remarkable. Jean signed his artwork in Lieutenant Blueberry as Gier. In 1973, he did a story in Pilot magazine called The Detour. It was the first time that he signed his work Mobius and the first time he tried science fiction. And he stuck with both ever since. For those of you who slept through math, a Mobius strip is a piece of paper with only one side. You take a strip of paper, put a half twist in it, and you'll find that if you start drawing on one side, you end up drawing on both sides because there only is one side. And yet Mobius's artwork is multi-sided, resonant, multi-dimensional, and, oh, sorry. <laughs> Mobius, you've collaborated with a lot of people over the years, but your most ambitious collaborations have been with Alejandro Jodorowsky. He is one of the men who helped me uh, to, to find more uh, uh, truth and peace in myself. And, you know, sometimes people help you to do that. Sometimes you find the help in, in a book or in a philosophy or a religion. Uh, me too, sometimes, but uh, I found that person. I, I was very lucky. Well, I love Marius and I love uh, Giro. Uh, I mean, um, uh, Alejandro Jodorowsky uh, writing. Um, I have worked with Jodorowsky in Mexico for many years. We did pantomime together. He's a master, pantomime uh, master. Uh, an and he's an incredible writer. So his writing, uh, combined with uh, Giraud's uh, artwork, is going to be spectacular. And it's they do, if they have involvement with a movie, it's going to be something else. Ah, yes, Mobius did pre-production designs for Alien, Tron, Willow, and finally a movie with two words in the title, The Abyss. So when someone says, gee, where did they get all those neat ideas? The answer is Mobius. Mobius and Jodorowsky worked for nine months on Dune, and then Jodorowsky was replaced by David Lynch as director, and all their work was thrown out. No wonder the movie stunk. In the wreckage of Dune, uh, Jodorowsky approached Mobius with a story he had written in Mexico, and said, would you like to illustrate this? And the story was uh, The Eyes of the Cat. Um, it's a 50-page uh, narrative with one panel per page, and it sets up a very uh, careful and a very engaging rhythm for the reader. Uh, it's a story about two artists searching for a new way of seeing, and they're using the metaphor of this eyeless child who is sending out uh, this bird to collect uh, a means of seeing for it. John, if Eyes of the Cat is a metaphor, what were you and Jodorowsky trying to say? I don't know. You know uh, when, when we do stories, we don't know what we do. <laughs> and uh, the only thing uh, Alexandro told me is, uh, is very strange. When it was finished, he said, OK, this is the first part. Uh, we will do the, the second part another, another time. <laughs> and he said that the, the second part is much more, uh, it gives the explanation. So we will wait maybe again uh, two or 10 years to finish, to know the, the end of the story. <laughs> so to, and to know the, 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 the meaning of the story.